Okay, so I'll hand it over to Shehu for, um, as our uh, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you, Ross, for that. Um, at this point, I'm just going to call on uh, <clears throat> Dan. I don't know about um, your other club, but with our club, you are going to be calling on the timer report and um, calling on the evaluator to evaluate Steve and give the general evaluator. So that's what the general, so I'm going to call on you to, um, Steve, if you don't mind, are you able to share um, the agenda so he can see what- Oh, sure, sure. Thank you. That would be great, thank you. And anyway, so while I jump in there, um, or what, yeah, why don't I just jump in? So thank you for that. Um, so I am the general evaluator. I'm Dan. I spoke once this evening as well for the table topic. So this is the portion of the, of the session, I guess you could say, in which I give my perspective on how the first half of the meeting went which was kind of the meat of the meeting. And now we're gonna get into the evaluation. So we'll go through the timers report. We'll do the uh, counting. We'll do an evaluation of Steve's speech. And then we'll just do, I'll give an overall evaluation of the actual speech. So <clears throat> with that, I think now I call upon the timer for uh, his no, timing call, report. Uh, it's gonna call on Maha to give um, evaluation for Steve's speech. Oh, right, right. That would make sense. So with that, Maha, could you jump in and give an evaluation of Steve's speech? Yes. Thank you, Dan and Jehu and uh, uh, Steve. Uh, what I would like to say is that you uh, provided another excellent speech today. What stood out from this presentation to me was the organization and the clarity of your presentation. I like how you presented, um, you presented your speech today in an outline form. It made it easy to follow and everything was clear to me. In the beginning, you started out with, uh, with the objective of your speech as an introduction. And then you continued to the body of the speech where you gave a lot of the tips on the do's and don'ts when somebody's evaluating. And I thought all of those were very good tips. And it would have been nice to have those uh, or that presentation even given to um, every evaluator. Yeah, I can send um, it, yeah. Yeah. And uh, the other thing, um, uh, I like the fact how you gave different methods of, of evaluating, such as, for example, the um, sandwich you offered, like the sandwich um, uh, uh, method. And um, one an additional thing that, you, that I liked in your speech was the fact that you gave personal examples. Uh, so it, it, was, it was easy to connect uh, with with the ideas that you were saying when you put them in a personal um, example. Uh, again, what I liked the most was just the flow of it, the organization, everything was clear. And um, perhaps one thing that was that you could have added or you that you could have made more clear was the conclusion. I am not sure I followed a clear, concise conclusion at the at the end. Um, you you did end with uh, with how to evaluate the evaluators, uh, but that was kind of an off uh, an offside or a branch uh, a branch topic. But overall, I think um, adding something in conclusion to wrap everything up or like in summary, one, one slide of summary would have, uh, would have completed this whole presentation. But otherwise, excellent. Uh, your vocal variety was, was very good. Um, 
and overall, you know, this is kind of a, a dry, um, a dry topic. So to 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 be able to grab your audience's attention throughout the whole speech uh, with a topic like this uh, is definitely an achievement. Back okay. to you, um, gen uh, general evaluator. Yeah. Thank you, Maha. Thank you, Steve. And that's you. Oh, thank you. That is that is me. Correct. All right. Thank you for that evaluation, Maha. That was very spot on. I think I I'm in agreement with with all of those comments. So so well done on that. And next we have the the time. And I I forget who the actual timer is. And shame on me for being no, in this I'm not. Oh, Doji. That's right. Okay, Doji. All right. Doji, could you please give us a quick rundown of the timing of everyone's speeches this evening? Yes, sir. So we had one speech today, a great speech by Steve, as always, uh, and he went 13 minutes and 40 seconds. My apologies. I don't think my, uh, my phone was working where I was trying to highlight green, yellow, red, and it was on showing. And then we had five table topic speeches. I'm the fifth one, so I don't have my own time. Hopefully someone has that. Someone has my time. Benagam, you went two minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, Noor, you went two minutes and 20 seconds. Then you went two minutes and 40 seconds. And Calvin, you went a minute and 53 seconds. All right, thank you, Doji, for that report. So I guess a lot of longer table topic speeches and relatively long speech. Um, do we have a time for Maha's evaluation too? Did you say that? Oh, no, sorry, I did not time that. Okay. All right, very well. So I'll just give a quick rundown on my thoughts as well before um, I hand it over to Shay. One more. I'm sorry. One more. One more. I'll counter. Oh, the R counter. My apologies. That's that's fine. <laughs> I'm not too too familiar with the R counter. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'd like to call upon the R counter this evening. Thank you, Dan. That would be me, me Nagam, in case you don't know how to pronounce my name. <laughs> um, and the ad counts for today, I did not do my own, but starting with Steve's speech, you had five Xeroxes, um, two false starts, and one um. Uh, Dan, you had, you started your sentences with so three times, but no ahs or ums or any other thing. Uh, Doji, you have one ah. Uh. Uh, Kelvin, you have um, 14 ums, six ahs, five Xeroxes, and one start with one sentence starting with so. Uh, Noor, you had five Xeroxes, two ahs. Uh, Maha, for your evaluation, you had four Xeroxes and six ums. I don't know if someone kept my ahs while I went, but that's all I have. Back to you, Dan. Excellent work, Nag. Thank you, Nagam, and my apologies for not um, recalling that you were the one doing this. So you could have given me an extra so as I started my sentence if you had wanted to, and it would have been fair game. So well done, everyone, this evening. Before I hand it over to Nehu, I think this is the last of it. I think this meeting was very well done. I know it's really difficult to do it over Zoom, but I thought you guys did this very, very well. I've been to one other meeting over Zoom over the course of COVID. And it's it's a little difficult to orchestrate logistically, but I thought you folks did a, a very great job organizing everything, get, getting everyone to have a role. I thought that that was very well done. Ross, I really liked your table topics theme this evening. It really was challenging and it you know tied all, to, all the questions tied together. I thought that was great. Um, you, got, you folks really seemed very welcoming and um, very kind to everyone as well. So I thought that that was very well done. And um, I would also say that this meeting, yeah, was very on track and on time. And assuming I don't keep talking, it will still continue to remain on time. So thank you. And I will 
kick it back off to uh, Shehu to to bring it on home. Shehu. Thank you, Dan, for that wonderful um, evaluation. Um, we just thank you for picking the impromptu um, role for being the general evaluation evaluator for this meeting. So thank you all. We have any success story before. It's a, any success story. Okay, I think um, this meeting is success. We have a great attendance, like 10 people. So that's very, very um, successful and success story. So I'm just gonna thank everyone again um, for joining. I wanna thank everyone that filled up the roles, um, Dan,